Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this very short video, we're going to look at cardinal numbers and applying them towards sets, unions, and intersections. So how do we use cardinal numbers? Well, we might be given information about two sets. If the cardinal number of set A is 10, the cardinal number of the intersection of sets A and B is 3, and the cardinal number of the union of the two sets is 19, then we want to find the cardinal number of set B. Let's try to set this up and plug in what we know. So I'm going to set up my two, ven uh, my two sets. Here's A and here's B. And we want to always start, just like we always do with surveys and whatever, start with the overlap. So the overlap is 3. I'm going to put a 3 in right here. We also know the cardinal number of set A is 10. Now I already have 3 included in set A, which means in just set A alone is going to be 7. Be very careful that you don't write 10 anywhere in your Venn diagram or it will be wrong. So I've used this and I've used this. Okay, so now the next thing we know is that the union, the cardinal number of the union is 19. So I know that the three regions, 7 plus 3 plus the only B adds up to 19. That's 10 plus B is equal to 19, which means only B is 9. Now the question is, what's the cardinality of set B? What's the cardinal number of set B? You might be tempted to say 9 because we just figured that out, but it's not 9, right? Because it's the entire set, and the entire set has a 3 and a 9, which would be 12. So the cardinal number of set B is 12. Okay, what about this example? If the cardinal number of set A is 11, and the cardinal number of set B is 18, and the intersection is 7, what's the union? Let's set up what we know, always starting with what? That's right, the triple overlap, the triple overlap, the double overlap, and the overlap is 7, so we're going to plug in 7 here. Now we know in our next example, the cardinal number of set A is 11, the cardinal number of set B is 18, and the intersection has a cardinality of 7. What is the union? We're going to start this one by setting up our two sets, set A and set B, and we always plug in the intersection first. The intersection is 7, so we're going to put a 7 right here in that intersection. Now the cardinal number of set A is 11, but we already have 7 elements counted for, which means over here we're going to put 4, right? So that way the, the two regions add up to 11. And set B that should add up to 18. I have 7 plus something equals 18. That should be 11. So the union is going to be when we add up these three numbers. That would be 4 plus 7 plus 11, which is 22. So we could say the cardinality of the union of sets A and B in this example is 22. Okay, how about the next one? We have the cardinal number of set A is 14, the cardinal number of set B is 38, and the cardinal number of the union is 40. What is the intersection? Ooh, interesting. So I always like starting with the intersection, and now I can't because it's not there. Oh, no. So what are we going to do? Well, I always like modeling it just in case something springs up. So we have A and B. This we don't know. Um, I'll just put an N there for our unknown. And we know that when we add up this region, this region, and this region, that it should add up to 40. So how are we going to figure this one out? This is tricky. Well, what we could say is we could say, well, I know that it's going to be 14 minus n plus n plus 38 minus n has to add up to 40. Now, that's a little tricky, right? But it's because to figure out this, you have to subtract out the overlap. And to figure out this, you have to subtract out the overlap. So I just subtracted it, but we had to subtract what we know, which is that we don't know it. So I use the variable. And that's how one way we can set this up. But look, oh look, a minus n and a plus n, great. And then 14 plus 38, that adds up to 52. So we have 52 minus n equals 40. If I add n and subtract 40 from both sides, then we get 12 is equal to n. Oh, and that's it, we're done. Hey, we figured it out. Sweet. So now we know the cardinal number of the intersection is 12. That one's a little bit trippy, isn't it? Um, and if you feel very unconfident about that because we really didn't know any numbers, we can always check our work, right? So I can put a 12 here, and if there's 12 in the overlap and there's 14 in set A, that means this is a 2. And if there's 12 in the overlap and 38, that would be 26 here. And 2 plus 12 is 14, plus 26 is 40. So it does work out.
Yay. Okay, what is the connection between these four numbers, right? Because that last one was really tricky. There must be a better way that we can do this without having to draw the Venn diagram every time, and absolutely there is. So I'll give you the formula, and maybe you, you might be able to see the connection here, but if you don't, that's okay too. Um, and just know that the formula is very adaptable for whatever we need it to be adaptable for. But the formula is, and this is really cool, the cardinality of set A plus the cardinality of set B is equal to the cardinality of the union of the two sets plus the cardinality of the intersection of the two sets. So those numbers will always add up. So we can check this, right? In the first example, 10, and where's B? B is 12, so 10 plus 12 is 22. And then we have 3 and 19, which also is 22. So we can see that those work out for us. Now, if we were to use the formula, you could plug it in as is, or you could just say, well, I need to, if I want to know this, I might want to take the formula and subtract the cardinality of A from both sides, but it doesn't matter. At some point, you're going to have to do that subtraction, whether you do it up front or at the end. And that sure would make the third one a lot easier, wouldn't it? Because we could say 14 plus 38 is equal to 40 plus that intersection, and this would add up to 52. And so we see this again. We, we saw this over here, right? The 50 equals 42, oh, I guess I never actually had that. I had, it, I had it switched, but if we added n right here, you would see it would be 52 equals 40 plus n. Subtract 40 from both sides, and that's where we would get that 12. Hopefully you found this interesting at the very least, or fun, or if you just need the formula, you got that too. Um, but that's it for cardinal numbers and uh, surveys, so thank you for stopping by.